Hi, everyone, welcome to Style 3D channel. In this video, you will learn the avatar fitting tool. Let's get start. After opening the software, let's make a save first and develop a good habit of saving in time. After saving, we open the library. Select the default female model to add. Select Add. Then import the model we need. Click File Import Import OG. Select the model we want to import. Type is selected as Add. After importing it, we found that the size of this model is too small. So we need to adjust the size of this model to be about the same size as the default model. Right-click, Smartly Convert to Prop. So we can resize it. Turn on Fixed Rate, Enter 150, for the Y-axis. We move it to roughly coincide with the default model. Ensure that the front and rear overlap. This is fine now. Then we export the file, select File Export Export Obj. Give the file a name. Here we only check all props, here choose thick. After export, we delete the white model, select it and press delete. The above is the preparatory work before the fitting of the avatar. Next, we will explain the production process of avatar fitting. First, we can change the color of the scene environment to black, which can make the edges of the model look clearer. Right-click in the blank space of the 3D window and change the color to black. Then select the high heels and press delete to delete. Click on the virtual model to open the edit avatar in the property editor on the right. There is a fit avatar here, a pop-up window will appear after clicking. Select open target and import the obj model we just saved. After importing in, we can see a yellow model appeared. Next we need to adjust the size, joints, and pose of the default model so that it can match this yellow, transparent model. After adjusting the position, we click here to convert. The default model will inherit the muscles and positions of the yellow model. Then all our operations are to align the model. Let's first adjust the size of the model so that it fits the transparent yellow model in proportion. We use the crotch as an important reference point. If the crotch is not aligned at the beginning, there will be many problems in subsequent adjustments. Let's lengthen the outer length of the thigh first and the outer length of the calf at the same time. The value of the total rise should be reduced. Inseam height These three coefficients should be increased at the same time until the crotch is suitable. When we saw the upper body, 
we found that the upper body was too long, so we shortened the waist to neck height. The hip to waist height should also be reduced to a minimum. Let's increase the waist to neck height. The shoulder width is currently too large, reduce its value a little. Then reduce the bust circumference, the under bust circumference, and the waist circumference. For the upper hip circumference, also known as the abdomen, decrease the valuum. The same goes for the under hip circumference. The upper hips are a bit too small at the moment, please increase it a little. The overall height and circumference of the model have been adjusted, and then we start to adjust the model's limbs. Because the movements of the model are different, we need to adjust the pose first. Show skeleton, when we click on the joint, a positioning ball will appear. There will be such a small person in the upper right corner of the set ball. If we light it up, we move the positioning ball again, the left and right hands of the model can be linked. If it is turned off and we move again, the model will only change the side where the positioning ball is located. Then let's talk about the functions of these buttons in the upper right corner. We turned off the first button and found that the important joints on the model are hidden. When it is lit, all related joints are displayed. The second button is full body, when we light it up. Then dragging any joint point, the model as a whole will follow the movement and be affected by the current joints. Undo operation. The third is part body. After lighting up, drag the same joint point, only the nearby joints will be affected and it will not drive the movement of the entire model. The last one is the rotate angle limit. When we turn it off and drag the same point again, we can see that the model can make a very weird pose, which exceeds the limit of human beings. Undo previous action. Turn on the button. And then move. Now all the postures can be done by human beings, which are the postures of normal people. Revoke We have finished talking about the bone adjustment method. Now we start to adjust the pose of the model. Observed from the side. It is found that the model is leaning back a bit. Click on the joint point of the lumbar spine to adjust it from the side view to make the model deflect forward. We also need to adjust the above point. The joints need to be adjusted in coordination to bring out a good model shape. The chest height is not enough now. We need to adjust the side neck point to bust point. View from the side and adjust to raise the side neck point to bust point. From the side, the bust is currently too small, 
we increase the amount of bust circumference. Increase the size of the cup. Next, adjust the posture of the arm. Click on the joint of the hand, and light up the small person in the upper right corner. Drag the positioning ball, to adjust the position. Lift the elbows a little higher, as do the wrists. We found the arms a bit thick. The bicep circumference is adjusted a little smaller, and the elbow circumference is also adjusted smaller. Pull the camera to the side to observe and find that the arms are not aligned. Pull down the joint. The arms are too long. Shorten the length of the upper arm length. Shorten the length of the lower arm length and arm length at the same time. Wrist here we're going to focus on alignment. There will be no problems after the conversion. Because the hands, feet and head are not involved in fitting, there is no need to inherit these parts. So we only need to align the joint points, and the hand part does not need to be adjusted. But if the wrist is not aligned, severe deformation will occur when fitting later. After this hand is adjusted, we adjust the movement of the other hand. We need to turn off this small person first, because the movements of the two hands are not exactly the same, and the other hand has been adjusted, so we don't need to carry out linkage. Move the position of the bone. The upper limbs are almost adjusted. Now we start to adjust the movement of the legs. For the legs, we need to open this small person for linkage adjustment. The most important thing here is to align the ankles, because the feet do not participate in the fitting. If there is no alignment here, serious deformation will occur later. Then adjust the posture of the legs. It can be seen that the muscles of the yellow avatar are relatively developed. So we need to change the thickness of the legs. Increase ankle circumference. The calf circumference is also enlarged. Adjust the position of the legs again. Try to align the ankle and above. Then we adjust the other leg.
After the model adjustment is completed, we click to position aligned. The software will automatically judge so that the two models can be better aligned. This button can be clicked multiple times until you are satisfied. Because the model fitted in the course has no head, if the model you import has a head, we need to align the head, especially the neck and jaw, which is also an important part. After the software automatically aligns, we can click Convert. After the conversion is successful, we don't click back, it means to return to the previous step, so we need to click close. As we can see, this is the model after fitting, and we found that her muscles have developed a lot. Avatar fitting is often not a one-time success. It is often encountered that after the adjustment, some places are found to be unsightly, so we need to go back to the previous steps to readjust the size and posture, and then re-simulate to become more perfect. The current model inherits all the arranged points of the original model. And inherited all poses, like I pose, one pose, two. Three and four poses. Now let's take a look at what changes have taken place between it and the previous Nana. Open the resource library, double click Nana to add. Select the type to add and modify the x axis value to 1. Click OK. It can be seen that one is a muscular model, and the other is a model with a soft figure. Now let's take a look at the effect of the two models walking together on the same stage. Open the animation editor and add the same catwalk pose to the two models. When we started the catwalk, we found that the poses of the two models were exactly the same. The fitted model inherits the arrangement points, poses, and animations of the default model. Alright, that's all for today's lesson. That's it guys, and I hope some of the tips will help your modeling work. If you like what we do, please liking commenting and sharing this video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in next video. Goodbye.